If you're dreading tax season and frustrated by expensive accountants or confusing IRS forms, I understand you. But believe me, filing your 1099 NEC can actually take just five minutes. No more depending on others or banging your head against the IRS site. I am Daniel and I have been a business owner for the past decade. On this channel, I'm sharing my insights with you. Today, I'll show you how to do 1099 NEC filing and how to do it with a special tool called Zenwork. We'll cover who needs to file, what details you need, and walk through the whole demo step by step. This video is sponsored by Tax1099. Thanks to them, I can show you how to simplify your paperwork burden. And guys, before we get started, just a quick reminder. Check the description for helpful links and discounts you won't want to miss. Also, here's a little disclaimer. This video is meant for educational purposes only. It's not tax, legal or financial advice. I'm not a certified tax professional. So for anything specific to your situation, it's best to consult a qualified accountant or tax advisor. Let's dive in. All right, my friends, let's start with the basics. Form 1099 NEC is an IRS tax form used to report non-employee compensation to the IRS. It is used to report payments total in $600 or more made to non-employees. These include independent contractors, freelancers, and outside vendors. If your business pays someone who isn't on payroll for services, you likely need to file a 1099 NEC for those payments. Since 2020, the 1099 NEC has replaced the old 1099 MISC for reporting non-employee compensation. The IRS brought back this form to simplify the process and keep everything clear. So if you're paying people for work, but they're not your employees, you'll need to file this one. From tax year 2026, the threshold for filing a 1099 NEC will increase to $2,000, which means fewer small payments will need to be reported. But for this current tax year, it's still $600. However, there are some important exemptions, my friends. Payments made to C or S corporations usually don't need a 1099 NEC. You also don't need to file for payments made through third-party payment networks, like credit cards. Those are reported on a different form called 1099K. And don't forget, guys, Zenwork is giving a 15% discount to all customers with our code DANIEL15. Save time and money and avoid those IRS headaches. Now, folks, let's talk about what you need to actually file a 1099 NEC. There are four main categories of information. First, payer details. This is you or your business. You'll need your name or legal business name, address, and either your social security number or employer identification number. Use SSN if you are an individual or EIN if you are a business. Without it, the IRS won't know who's sending the form. Second, recipient details. For each contractor or vendor you paid $600 or more, you'll need their full legal name, address, and taxpayer identification number. Third, guys, we will need to report the total non-employee compensation paid to each recipient and federal or state taxes withheld, if any. If your state requires reporting, have your state ID number on hand too. In case if you don't have it, you don't need to worry about it the system will autofill the payer tin. Inputting these details is easy with Tax1099 smart interface, but double check everything because errors can lead to IRS penalties. Guys, before we continue, I am happy to share my insights with you. And all I ask in return is that you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Thanks! This video is for educational purposes only. It's not tax, legal or financial advice. I'm not a certified tax professional, so if you need guidance for your specific situation, make sure to talk to a qualified accountant or tax advisor. All right, my friends, let's dive into how to actually use this tool to file your 1099 NEC. It's easier than you think. This is what the Tax 1099 platform interface looks like. To create a form, we first go to the form section select the tax year and then choose the one we need. Here, you can either select an existing payer or if this is your first time, add a new payer. Next, guys, you'll need to enter basic details. First, select the payer type, individual or business, then fill in the name. 
tax identification number, phone and address. There are also additional fields, but they're not mandatory. Once done, click Save. We can now see that the payer's information has appeared. Scrolling down, we need to select a recipient. Since we don't have one yet, click Add Recipient and fill in the key details. Name, tax identification number and address. Then click Save again. After entering both the payer and recipient information, we can finally start filling out the form. It's on the right side of the screen. Select the tax year and in the first field, enter the non-employee compensation amount. In this case, I'll enter $2,000. The following fields usually remain blank, but if you withheld federal or state income tax, enter that amount as well in box 4 and 5A. Based on the details you have entered, if a state filing is required, you'll get a pop-up right away. But for Alaska, a state filing is not required. You can leave boxes 5 to 7 blank and then hit Save and Continue. Now, folks, you'll see a list of forms that you have saved. There are plenty of features here. For example, it's very simple to instantly view the platform fee, which is quite minimal. You can also choose the services that you want to avail. You can add USPS mailing or e-delivery, which emails a copy directly to the recipient after they have provided consent. To reduce errors, you can run a TIN match. It checks the TIN and name combination of the recipients against IRS records before filing. The checkbox for state filing appears only when it is required, as per the details you have provided. Tax 1099 automatically shows this checkbox to help ensure compliance with state-specific requirements. Then simply check the box next to the form you want to submit. Once everything's ready and you've selected the correct data and forms, click Submit for this payer. That's it, my friends. The form is submitted. As you can see, the entire process takes only a couple of minutes. Guys, do you know why I prefer this tool to other filing solutions? Tax 1099 saves you tons of time with bulk uploads, integrations for QuickBooks and Zero, and W9 collection. You reduce the risk of costly IRS mistakes thanks to built-in TIN matching and instant error checks. Plus, the pricing is actually affordable, with options starting at less than a dollar per form. Whether you're managing a handful of contractors or hundreds of them, you can keep tax season quick and stress-free. By the way, guys, the platform has also rolled out a new product called Zenwork Payments. It lets you automate payments to contractors or vendors with flexible payment options. It's an all-in-one platform for accounts payable, vendor management, and effortless tax compliance with built-in 1099 filing. All right, my friends, let's wrap this up. Zenworks Tax 1099 makes 1099 NEC filing fast, easy, and much less nerve-wracking. You don't need to pay a fortune for an accountant or mess with confusing IRS paperwork. The platform helps you cut through all the headaches with its automated, intuitive tools. Remember using our code DANIEL15, you get 15% off, so there's really no reason to wait. So don't forget to check those links in the description below. If you had a good time, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and see you next time.